Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, today is October the 30th, 2016. I want to say hi to all my new Striver friends um, from all over the world. I, I can't speak your language, <laughs> but I can see your messages and I see your kudos when you give me kudos, thumbs up, and I really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated and I like to help motivate people myself. Uh, for a little background history real quick, I've been riding bicycles all my life as a little kid. I rode all the time. And then uh, I started actually riding a road bike in 19, I'm gonna say 1994. I may be wrong about that. Could, well, yeah, it wasn't 93, it was 94. And uh, it was a trek and it was, I believe it was a 1200. And I rode that thing, I bought it used, I rode that thing for quite a few years. I rode consistently for about four years during the mid 90s. And, um, and I, I just basically slowed down. Uh, at 32, I went to college, got a degree in drafting and design. And then I, I needed to uh, ride a little bit more, but I really started riding after 2005. I got hurt. I had to have knee surgery. It masked the back injury. I couldn't hardly walk for two years. I was my left leg drawed up to nothing almost, but I gained up to 235 pounds. So I started riding the bike again. And at that time, I couldn't hardly go four miles out, four miles back. Then I got to where I could go five, five out, five back. Then I got to where I could go ten, ten out, ten back. And uh, that was the year of 2008 and uh, so I've been riding pretty consistent and then really turned it up in the last couple of years so this is a, my bike Trek my Dawn 2012 5.2 but I just want to say hey to all my Strava friends and all the kudos and uh, I check all it try to check everybody's pages out if you leave a comment you'll definitely get a response I'm gonna leave in the description videos of what I see some days and what I what I do <laughs> all right thank you well here's the happy cows eating turnip greens Look at them looking at me. Hey! Eating turnip greens. They cut that field in half with one little wire and they stayed over there on the back side where you see they've ate there almost everything. But there's turnips in the ground so the ones that the cows that like turnips are going over there eating turnips. But they let these back in here and they are just tearing it up. Look at that. They love some turnip greens. I thought that was something else. Feeding the cows turnip greens. That's cool. Healthy cows make happy cows make happy milk. I oh, want you to look at this. Watch this as I go by these rows. Rows of turnip greens. Look at what the cows are eating. Turnip greens. Now these are milk cows. That's happy milk cows. Eating turnip greens. They're eating big time. Look at them. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> She's so happy. She can't stand it. Now there's the farm where they milk them. Happy cows, happy milk. I don't drink milk. Never have. But if you drink milk, drink happy milk. Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm with the, mar the manager of this farm that has this dairy, and he did agree and say, yes, that was turnip greens, and it was his idea. Tell, tell him what you said. You got five? Yeah, we've got six paddocks of turnip greens for the cows this year. And it's probably 20 acres each? No, six and a half acres each. Six and a half acres each. Mm -hmm. And he said they will eat the greens. And then they'll jerk the bulbs out and eat them. And that makes them happy cows. Oh, they love it. And they come up in here in the morning and they line up to get on the rotisserie thing. Yeah, they, they, 
We bring them in to milk right here twice a day. Twice a day? Yeah, every 12 hours. You know them by name almost. They got numbers, so you scan them and you kind of know. Just all, it's a number. It's a number and they keep up with it and. Oh yeah, they're all on a computer system and everything, yeah. And you know what cow's doing and yeah. what cow's not doing. What the breeding is and everything. Else. How much milk it produces and everything. I've seen a lot of farms, but this is really an efficient deal they've got here. And I've been watching it for a while. They really know what they're doing. I finally had a chance to stop and talk to them. I've been thinking about making this video for a long time, but uh, maybe one day he'll show me the inside workings of how that rotisserie thing, they just walk, line up and they just walk right in there, look like a school kid cafeteria looking thing. They, sm so. they smiling and they happy and when they get through, y'all feed them again. Well, they get six pounds of grain at every, each milking in there and that's enough to get their vitamins and minerals and their energy in them and then they get everything else from the grass. No shots, no hormones, no, none, of the, hormones. none of that junk. No. So you got happy cows. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Can't, the way the restrictions are anymore, we can't use, drugs are very limited. Yeah, well if you do it like y'all do it, and you know, this is a huge operation. I'll show a aerial picture of what it looks like using Google Map and let you see how these, how, how many areas they got to graze these cows. Yeah, there's 80 acres right over there all set up across the road. We do take them across the road. Yeah, I've seen that. I videotaped that. They just walk right across the road oh, there. They don't care. They don't, uh-uh, they're some happy cows. If they get out, they go on the road, so we might make them go on the road. <laughs> yeah, at least you're there to flag them when you want to. Yeah. Other than that, one of them has to whoop out a flag and flag for each other. Yeah. All right, nice to meet you, man. Appreciate it. You Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, here come a car. I gotta go. Well, this is my third trip back here to this location. You can see where I'm at. The McDonald's is over there. Rogersville is that away, and this is Hardy's. I'm going down this new road they built. Somebody told me about it, and it's been open for a while, but I guess a couple weeks, and I didn't know about it. But it runs right along this this highway here, and it got it's just it's just another way to go. Seems like I'm making some good time doing it because yeah, there's always more roads that lead somewhere to get you there faster if you know what I'm saying. If you gotta feel me on that. But um, I'm gonna get to my turnaround point, and that's almost the end end. And then I'm gonna ask my body, do I feel like doing another one? And that'd be like coming here again. That'd be four. That'd give me a total getting back to Ozark, 76 miles. And that's one of my best uh, that I've done all year. So, man, it'd be something to get there, get back, and then do one more. Woo, I might shoot for it. What you think? There can be no doubt about it, we are living in historical times. This we must make sure the good guys win. Thanks for listening and watching. Subscribe and share.
serious? 